Senator Warren and other lawmakers are requesting action be taken against gun violence in the state. 22 News reporter Claire Overton joins us live in studio with what they are requesting the ATF to do. CR Senator Warren and other lawmakers sent a letter on Wednesday to the Attorney General Merrick Garland and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, recommending they increase their mitigation of illegal firearms trafficked from other states to Massachusetts. Massachusetts has uh, the strongest gun safety laws in the country. But through this letter, the lawmakers are not trying to specifically combat gun safety. The problem of gun trafficking is national. Gun trafficking is an issue around the country, but Massachusetts and specifically Springfield have seen lots of illegal trafficking in recent years. I've called on the Attorney General of the United States to enforce our gun trafficking laws more vigorously to help keep us safer here in Massachusetts and frankly to keep people safer all around the country. The lawmakers make five key recommendations for the ATF. They want stronger implementation of the new law, improve inspections of high-risk and non-compliant dealers, expand reporting requirements for multiple sales, increase public access to gun trafficking data, and ensure more consistent crime gun tracing. According to the ATF, Massachusetts is a top five destination for guns trafficked across state lines, with the highest supply coming from New Hampshire, Vermont, and Maine. In the letter, Warren notes in 2023, Springfield's number of homicides reached a record high, double the homicide rate of 2022. While this year the homicide rate has been declining, gun violence is still a key concern for lawmakers, police, and residents. The mayor fully supports, uh, along with uh, Police Superintendent Lawrence uh, Larry Akers, uh, supports anything that Senator Warren, Senator Markey, and our Congressman Richard Neal can do on the federal level on cracking down on these illegal guns and ghost guns entering into the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and the city of Springfield in particular. Last year, shootings in the city became deadlier, and Springfield police saw more rounds of ammunition fired, more military-style weapons on the streets, and more devices that turn guns automatic. So lawmakers made some meaningful suggestions for the ATF. They did, and they have five questions from their recommendations that they posed to the ATF and requested a response by November 7th. And just before this newscast, as we said earlier, Springfield Police Superintendent Lawrence Akers also sent a statement to 22 News, and we have that on our website, wwlp.com. Okay, Claire, thank you.